surprised how much bigger Canelo looks in the ring against Cotto. But uh, I still thought that my guy found a good fight. Uh, uh, we had a game plan to outbox him, and um, I thought we did that. I thought his defense was impeccable. I thought he blocked a lot of shots. I think they gave uh, some, a lot of points for not scoring a lot of shots, but he, he landed a lot of combinations. Uh, I thought he fought a uh, good fight. It was a good close fight, good competitive fight, good for boxing, but I, I thought we had the edge at the end. But, um, it went the other way, and um, that's life. Mr. Roche, uh, what do you think uh, about Miguel Cotto's now future after this fight? 35 years old, very much of wars. What, what do you think he should do right now, and why, why didn't, he came, didn't he come to the first conference? <laughs> Personal situation or something else, or whatever. He's really disappointed, and um, you know, uh, I and he felt that we all scored Canelo in this fight. We slid a lot of combinations, and we our defense was again very good. But um, you know, the, he's he cares enough, but he's he's just dis disappointed right now, and. Um, I think is uh, I thought if I fight, I think he has a, a future with a couple more fights in him if they're the right fights. Uh, but uh, we're getting close to the end, and uh, but um, he's had a great career, and um, I'd like to say maybe, maybe a rematch, but we'll, we'll see. Hey, hey Freddie, um, two two things. Uh, do you think Miguel uh, didn't throw the left hook enough? I know he was throwing a ton of jabs in there tonight, but it seemed like after a while he maybe had him set up for a left hook. And then secondly, I wanted, and he didn't throw it. And then secondly, I wanted to ask you, can you kind of break down in your opinion how Canelo would match up with Golovkin? Um, well, I, I, you know, the thing is, our plan was out box up and our plan was out jab. We, we, we thought the jab would work well and it did in the fight. And, um, we weren't going after the hook as much as usual because we we, we were working behind the jab and then the, the right hand behind that um, worked at it some sometimes but not not enough. But um, maybe we should should have moved the hook a little bit more. But the thing is, uh, we did you know we fought the hard fight. We did the best we could. So seeing as you you're, seeing as you think that you like won the fight. How exactly do you not motivate like Cotto from this point forward? Because it sounds like you think like you did enough in this fight, so then. Well, I think I uh, motivated him enough between between rounds to, to go out and win rounds, and then there were a couple rounds that I told him that he needed away and that he needed to be more offensive and back his bone up, and he went out and he did he did what I asked him. I thought, and uh, you know, I, even HBO. After the tenth round, talked to me, and I wasn't really concerned. Um, I mean, all four of my cornermen, none of us were concerned about losing the fight. We all had our guy ahead. So, but um, you know, but the, the, I guess uh, the judges had it. But what really bothered me was the, uh, the, the 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 scoring was bad. I thought because the the scores, we didn't lose the fight by that much. No fucking, I'm sorry. There's no way. But, um, but you know, I did say some things about the commission and about people. And, and I mean, I just, you know, I was mad. I apologize if I offended anybody, but um, I still think we won the fight. Though. I mean, the thing is, I thought he listened to me very well in the corner, and I don't think I had to motivate him any more than I did. So, what rounds then do you think that you lost? Well, you know, now you can ask me what rounds. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you think I can remember that? Like, like I, 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 keep, I, I don't keep a score card in my pocket. Sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brent. Yes. Freddy, right here. Freddy, did you think uh, Miguel stayed in the pocket sometimes too long, but he uh, shot in his combinations and didn't move out of the way as quick enough? Yeah, you know the thing is, I wanted him, I wanted him to use angles a lot more, and I wanted to throw combinations and use the angles or get out of danger. Uh, and a couple of times, he, he stayed right in front of him in exchange with him, and uh, th those weren't his best rounds. And um, I, I thought, I thought his boxing, his footwork was, 
was pretty good, but the thing is that I think we needed, um, I, I think we could have done a little bit better, yes.